Michael Lipkin and I am one of the urologists here. Uh, my specific specialty and interest is in the treatment of kidney stones. The main approach I take is try to make sure my patients are educated. Um, I use a lot of pictures. I found that drawing really helps, particularly in my line of work, um, because your urinary tract is very similar to plumbing and it's very hard to describe, but it's very easy to visualize. Um, and so by letting my patients know what their options are, um, discussing the different sort of risks and benefits from different approaches, try to come to an agreed upon solution. I think that the more educated my patients are, the better they'll do and the more, the easier it is to take care of them because there's a better understanding and better expectations. So a patient who makes a big impact on me is a patient, usually they're um, in their late 40s, early 50s, and they've had stones their entire life, perhaps since their 20s, and they've passed multiple stones. I mean, I have patients who come in with like pill bottles full of stones, and they're like, this was last month, or they've had multiple surgeries for stones, and they come to see me, whether it's for an acute problem, like they're passing a stone, or they're coming to see me to hopefully figure out why. And I can tell them, listen, if you collect your urine for 24 hours from me at home, or sometimes 48 hours, I can tell you what's causing your stones and I can prevent them for you. Sort of the look of astonishment on their face, for me, means a lot because it usually means nobody's told them that before. We figure out why they make stones, we start them on medication um, and preventative treatment, and then they come back and they stop making stones or they make significantly less stones. And um, it's a good feeling because you've basically potentially changed somebody's life.